Good morning, Scott students and Scott staff. Today, today is February 10th of 2020, and here are your announcements. The uh, <clears throat> fun fact uh, for the day, bees, B-E-E, -E, um, they don't just sting humans, they also sting other bees to protect their honey. The uh, African-American uh, history fact, uh, Jack Johnson became the first African-American to hold the World Heavyweight Championship boxing title in 1908. He held onto the belt until 1915. That brings us to our Scott News. <clears throat> Teachers, you may begin and or continue decorating your door for the I Learn testing. Remember, your door, it needs to show the students what standard or strategy you think is important to have success on the I Learn. Doors must be done by February 28th. <clears throat> Attention eighth graders, the ACCU will be here on Tuesday, which is tomorrow, February 11th at five o'clock p.m in the cafeteria to meet with parents and answer any of their or your que uh, questions. Enter through door C, which is the cafeteria. Scott Girls basketball team will host Clark in the first round of the Hammond Middle School City Championship, uh, which will be tonight, and the start time of that will be 5 o'clock p.m. Students who had artwork up in the hall from first semester Please pick it up in the art room. You have until February 14th, or it'll just be there till the rest of the school year. Congratulations to Miss Nohos on being the PTSA Founders Day recipient. Uh, well earned and um, continue doing what you're doing. Speaking of PTSA, uh, they invite you to, uh, by you, I mean staff and uh, really anyone, uh, to join them at the 8030 Annual Founders Day Dinner. The event will be held at the Dynasty Banquet on Friday, February 21st, 2020. Doors open at 5.30 p.m. with the program beginning at 6 o'clock p.m. Dinner, it will be served, and that will begin at 6.30 p.m. Make sure you come and celebrate all the wonderful contributions of people working through PTSA to make Hammond the best it can be for our children. <clears throat> Next up, Heart of Scott Art Contest. Uh, voting. It was by, uh, it's over with, um, as far as we know. So um, when we get the uh, tally, uh, we haven't heard anything yet, but once we do, we'll make sure uh, um, uh, to either email it or um, send a, a Google note uh, to you, through you guys. The, um, oh yeah, the, a new segment, um, um, hot corner, a uh, hot, hot take corner here. Um, in my opinion, one of the most annoying uh, moments is when you wake up and you have a bowl of cereal, uh, you pour the milk, but when you reach for a spoon, there's only big spoons and just forks. Uh, nothing gets worse than that. Yeah, please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Now please join us for a moment of silence followed by the Scott Pledge. I will be ready, I will be responsible, I will be respectful, and I will be successful. That brings us on over to uh, our Students of the Month. Congratulations to the following Students of the Month. 6A, Mario Renteria. 6B, Melina Mata. 7A, Anaya Langmeyer. 7B, Sebastian Urena. 8A, Christian Ramirez. And 8B, Janine Sabic. 
please come down to the office to receive your certificate and dress down pass for the entire month. Also, another congratulations goes out to Miss Alvarez for being the staff of the month. Uh, thank you very much for your hard work and uh, being able to adjust. Really appreciate it. As far as um, lunch goes, um, just a lot of good options. Uh, just good options uh, all around here. Um, chicken melt, uh, MH. The uh, beef enchiladas. Or you can try your hand at the spicy chicken sandwich. You can try the um, French bread garlic pizza. Don't be afraid to try the chicken Caesar salad if you haven't yet. But in my opinion, um, for a go all of that, and go ahead and grab yourself the yogurt tricks, E L H H. And if you want any side items, um, a lot of students we've been noticing have been grabbing the uh, shoestring fries, uh, which is good, uh, but the Spanish rice, um, just as good, if not better, uh, option. So. <clears throat> also, another congratulations goes out to our sixth grade. Uh, dress down. They have been issued a dress down for having um, five consecutive days of a clean, uh, excuse me, a clean cafeteria. Um, so they will be having a dress down. Sixth graders, uh, you'll receive a, um, I don't know, phone call, uh, an all call, um, and let you know that you will have a dress down for today. For today. That brings us to our birthdays. Happy birthday on February 8th to Maritza Cirillo. Uh, happy birthday to Ariana Garcia. Happy birthday goes out to Anaya Perry. Uh, can't forget Heaven Reynolds with a birthday. Also Vince Neal. And a happy birthday to Kimbo Slice. Come on down and get your, uh, your birthday book. Uh, yesterday, we had a birthday for Sierra Brown and Carol King. Happy birthday. Come down. Get your birthday book. Today, Adrian Contreras and Isabella Lopez. Happy birthday. Come down. Also, Elizabeth Banks. Make sure you come down and get your birthday book. Um, final announcement here. Uh, there's been an increase of tardies uh, this, uh, this month or this semester, I should say, uh, students, the expectation is you are to be in the classroom, you are to be where you need to be during that passing period. So you have plenty of time to get from point A to point B. No excuses. Students that are accumulating tardies uh, are subject to consequences. Uh, speaking of which, if you cannot be to class on time, you should not be going to extracurricular activities. That goes for not just spectators, but also the players. Sixth grade, seventh grade, eighth grade girls, if you're on the basketball team and you're not getting in class on time, that is on you and subject to not be playing. And a final reminder, final. Um, electronic device, red zone, green zone. Um, it has been consistent since, if you're eighth grade, been consistent since sixth grade. If you're in seventh grade, consistent since sixth grade. It has been the same. Red zone is a hallway, uh, classrooms, green zone, cafeteria if it's, um, if it's a green zone day, and uh, after school. Students that are not abiding by that rule are subject to turn their phone in. Also, let, or, uh, dress code, if you are out of uniform, that is also subject to turn or uh, to get back into uniform and also subject to consequences within Scott Middle School. That's all we have for your announcements. Have yourselves a great Monday. We'll see you again on Tuesday and then again on Wednesday.